Tonight, the potential closure of a local elementary school sparking outrage among people attending a meeting held in opposition. Our Stoker Isaac was at that meeting and explains what people say they're doing to protest. Concerned residents and community members coming together here in Jackson Township after hearing about the possibility of the nearby elementary school closing. They say their mission is to let school board leaders know why they say they think this is not a good idea. They want to close the school. That's, that's the end result, but they want to do it in increments. This follows an overestimation on the taxable real estate at the competitive Power Ventures Fairview Power Plant in Jackson Township. Officials say the district collected taxes from the power plant based on that estimate, and due to its overvaluation, the district now owes the plant almost $4 million over the next nine years. They say this is why they're looking at the possibility of closing the Jackson Township Elementary. It's one of two elementary schools in the district. Since then, a committee has been formed with residents voicing their frustrations on Tuesday. If it comes down to whether or not I'm going to sacrifice my school or keep your job, I'm going to keep the school. I think that's where the priority needs to be is what's best for the community. Committee Chairman Carl Phillips and others cite a number of reasons they want to see the school remain open, including an expected decrease in real estate value, increased gas prices for transportation, and the mental effects on children. If Jackson closes, I really think we'll pull all of our kids from school. We're going to lose a large, a large, a huge amount of investment money if that mm -hmm. school closes. What I'm saying is, is it's nice to keep them here for the years that we can. The district's board was presented with a petition at another meeting with more than 500 signatures from people urging them to keep Jackson Elementary open. People attending Tuesday night's committee meeting say they feel the change is short notice and say they will continue pushing to keep the school open. What we need to do is to go to every school board meeting, not only go to every school board member before the meeting mm -hmm. and tell them what we think. The public school board meeting will take place on April 29th in the Central Cambria High School Auditorium. School board members say that will be to discuss a feasibility study to determine budgetary projections, which will be available to the public on April 8th. Reporting in Cambria County, I'm Stoker Wysorek.